Rejoice. You cursed the darkness with good reason. Now praise the return of the light. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the gathering crowd. Continue to guard it. For it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. Blessings from me, though I would have you deliver them. As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude, while it shall be your hand that rewards them. Are you? Overseer Shiralas, step forth. Overseer Shiralas, you sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city, after relaxing with your patient wife. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Farozar, approach. Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother Sotha Seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul, kneel before me. Was that? Did Lord Vivek summon me? Arch Canon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Arch Canon Levul. My lord, I'm not worthy, but I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you, and I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. You come before me with an empty sack, but have no fear. As I have written, Treat your enemies well, and your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good friend. Will you accept the honor I am about to bestow upon you? Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I foresee even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the hero of Morrowind. Now go forth and rejoice.
Please, uh, I'm working as fast as I can. I, I, isn't it obvious? We're being worked to death. I won't say more while Overseer Torvain is watching. I can't. Think you can defy me? Boo! Another lazy slave, I'll kill you too! I'll beat you to a pulp! Slave, more like. I swear I don't belong here. That Marshal, Hilarin. She says I murdered a beggar the day I arrived in Surin. Master Karak's building a new prison in Suran, but it isn't finished yet. In the meantime, they make us work out here in the fields. Hilarin visits Karak's house twice a week. Well, I'll be a skeever's drunk auntie. D Falsely? Hmm. Guess that's a matter of perspective. I punched a dark elf. Well, maybe that someone was Master Arano. And maybe the punch broke his jaw in three places. Sure's blood. I knew that elf was skeeving me out. saw you strike down Overseer Torvain. Well fought, friend. I was taking a deposit to the bank. A week's worth of coin, fairly earned. Marshal Horan accosted me and seized it. Maybe. These damn dark elves think I'm nothing but an animal. Some don't even think I can speak. Makes them careless around me.
Ah, true to your word. I knew I could trust you. I see my faith in you was not misplaced. We will discuss your evidence and more, but uh, not in this hall. My mentor used her wealth to better others, not herself. This evidence proves Lauren's guilt, but there's no telling how deep the corruption goes. My observations of Lauren suggest paranoia bordering on obsession. If Constable Gretgar's going to arrest the Marshal without a fight, we'll have to distract her mercenaries. Attack! Saboteur! Useless! No one leaves until we clean up this mess! Oh! 
You too? This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talenra, but my wife... You there! You've been selected for a random sir. Follow me quietly, away from the gates. We have a judge in common. This will do. Sorry about this cloak and dagger nonsense. I can't be seen talking to anyone even remotely suspicious right now. Marshal, she's on the lookout for anyone who might be colluding with the Scarlet Judge. I'm a friend of House Redoran, but that'll only get you so far in this town. Especially there was an ambush. Somehow Marshal Hlaren found out the Scarlet Judge was coming. Must have been one of the plantation owners. Damn their eyes! I Hlaren needs him to recant his accusations publicly. Probably got one of her hounds working him over right now, trying to squeeze out a confession. I'd let you into the prison myself, but Halaren doesn't trust me with the keys. Hmm. Constable Kren will snatch up a bribe without batting an eye. Oh, the judge and I go way back. The two of us, along with the former marshal, kept this town safe for decades. But ha, is that what we're calling him now? It wasn't too long ago slavery was legal in Morrowind. Buying and selling people was legal right here in Sura. That sound right to you? The judge keeps us honest. Sometimes the law just gets in the way. new in town, aren't you? Yes, I'd recognize your face otherwise. Like an exquisite gem, Suron has many facets. Fascinating. My, you're well informed. I like that. Mmm, perhaps I took a liking to your lovely eyes. Or perhaps I simply hate Marshal Hlaren enough to make her life difficult. Ugh, I'm drinking here. Bugger off, La. Now, who told you that? I'm a... Oh, can you now? Well, that's a whole different discussion. If you've got the coin, I don't see any harm in letting you... Oh, yes, that'll help a great deal. You're... Friend, I see Constable Gretka found you. Uh, please, forgive me if I don't stand up. One of them. The people of Vardenfell see the judge as one immortal guardian. But in truth, uh, many warriors have taken up the cowl. But to you, of course. <laughs> uh, don't act so surprised. Warden Libo, the prisoner's overseer, took it as a trophy. While they were interrogating me, I heard him mention a, a hunting trip to Lake Narbia. Oh, 
a doughty and heroic escape. <laughs> Usually I'd jump at the opportunity, but no, friend. There will be more torture, no doubt. I am not. <laughs> exactly. We're a small and diffuse group. You too? This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talenra, but my wife... Now! Halt, Fetcher! You probably... Fine. Now get your stink away from me. Yeah! Bigger game today. You too? This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talenra, but my wife insists we try a real adventure. Now oh, there's a sight for sore eyes. The Scarlet Judge returns. Shaw's bones, he's a stubborn one. Well, let's make sure he doesn't suffer in vain, hey? I did some snooping of my own while you were gone. According to Constable Kren, Hlaren ordered Inanius Eggmine sealed today. The front gates are barred from the inside, but there's an old service door near the back. It just so happens Dredini had a spare key to sell.
delays are unacceptable. How could you be so clumsy? With respect, I wasn't the one who left an incriminating note on my dresser, Rilasi. This bickering accomplishes nothing. The Scarlet Judge is in prison, yes? The issue is well in hand. You are mistaken. One of my informants saw the judge prowling the streets just this morning. Malik's jawbone! You said you captured him! You said you broke his legs! What if he's not really a mer? What if he's a vampire? He's not what a they, vampire! They Stop us. sniveling! Think you can smear my honor? I'll have your head! We caught these three trying to slip away. Should have seen their faces. It's a big... Resisted, eh? I had a feeling it might go that way. With Hilaren dead, command falls to the senior officer. For now. That's, uh... Well, that's me. Oh, Melar. Well, I took a hard look at the evidence. Greetings, my friend. You cut quite the dashing figure in my old regalia. Another spectacular victory for the Scarlet Judge, eh? Yes. But I do so knowing that the legacy of the Scarlet Judge is in good hands. We Dark Elves are beset on all sides by greed and scheming malice. Ah, look there. The fruits of your labor. Not you too. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Or I'll throw you in prison without your clothes. <laughs> 